Hi Leos, uh, welcome to my channel Lucy de Antigua Tarot and my name is Lucy and I'm here to do your reading for the month of May 2017. So I have uh, five cards spread, five cards, five positions. In position number one, you guys have the Eight of Swords. In position number two, you have the King of Pentacles. Leos. And in position number three, you have the Ace of Cups. Position number four, crowning the reading, you have Temperance. And position number five, you guys have the Nine of Pentacles. So let's get started with the interpretation of these, um, of these cards. And uh, let's start with position number one, which is at your center. Position number one is the situation at this moment. Your situation at this moment. You're getting the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is all about release and freedom. Because the Eight of Swords indicates that you need to release your strong feelings in a safe place. Where you will feel comfortable. You know, there's a need for you to free yourself from repressive situations so that you may recreate a happier and more purposeful life, Leos. Okay, this card uh, signifies recognition of inner struggles. In turn, this recognition will lead you to a process where you will let go and release those things holding you back. This whole dynamics will enable you to reach positive and creative solutions to avoid any more repressive situations, Leo. Okay, so a sense of empowerment will result when you direct your emotions in constructive ways that will help heal you. You may be feeling that your boundaries and set limits are being tested and overstepped by those people that are around you. And if this is so, it is time to create new and more stable boundaries, Leos, okay? And finally, do not forget to direct your feelings of struggles, of struggle, in constructive and positive activities and projects, okay? And that's what this uh, Eight of Swords is all about. And it is in the center, which is the situation you're in right now. And uh, for reflection, it's asking you, what are you holding on to that no longer functions for you in a positive way, Leos? Okay, moving on to position number two. Position number two is talking about the influences that are leading to this moment. Influences that are leading to this moment. And I put the wrong card here. You're supposed to have the Knight of Pentacles. Excuse me. The card that was dealt is the Nine of Pentacles. Here we go. The Knight of pentacles all right there you go that's the card that you got leos for this month and that's the card you're getting influences leading you to this moment knight of pentacles excuse the mistake there in the confusion now the knight of pentacles signifies mastery over the material aspects of your life leos wow this card represents the ability to manifest what is needed in your life through willpower and focus, thoughtfulness and compassion towards others is important with this card. Your deep understanding uh, that stems through inner knowledge gained uh, by exploration of all aspects of the self are prevalent for you right now. Let me repeat that. Your deep understanding that stems or that comes uh, through your inner knowledge 
uh, which it has been gained through the exploration of all aspects of the self are prevalent for you right now. I hope that's clear. And that's the message that you're getting with that Knight of Pentacles. Now, you are now able um, to tap into your inner strengths, Leo. Okay? You rely on them now. You gain this inner strength through your own self-understanding and with your willingness to apply yourself in a dedicated and persistent manner, okay? And that is the influences that are coming in. Very cool. Very, very cool, Leos. Now, the reflection for this card is asking if you are ready, are you ready now to believe in your powers of manifestation? Wow, are you ready to, are you now ready to believe in your powers of manifestation, Leos? Yeah, sure. That's pretty cool. Now, in position number three, which is speaking or representing the direction you are moving towards or the direction you are moving into, the, dire the direction you are going to, all right, you're getting the Ace of Cups. We're talking about water, liquid, fluid, okay, I mean, you know, uh, pretty cool stuff. And the Ace of Cups uh, represents pure love, which flows into every aspect of your existence, Leos. It suggests the ability to truly give and receive, with no thought of any possibility that the en energy could dwindle. Wow. And brings the awareness that love is infinite and eternal and can only grow through the, through the experience of it. <laughs> this is amazing. You are learning to understand that love is not, you know, something that you can portion out like a piece of pie. It is freely available to all and the more you give, the more you receive. Wow, that's amazing. That's really beautiful, Leos. So it's now time to tap into this great wellspring of life. See the wellspring of life going on? I'm just the, the water's just overflowing that cup, right? Um, yeah, tap into that to feel its power and magnificence, magnificence deep within you. I think I pronounced that word right. It's magnificent, magnificence. Okay, that's within you. And to express it as best as you can to those people that, that are around you. It's really beautiful. So love is freely available to you at this moment, Leos. A tide of bliss awaits you. Wow, a feeling of total connection with those people that are around you. All you need to do is to go with the flow, accept it, and give thanks for it. Well, that is quite beautiful, Leos. Awesome card to have. Now, it's asking you to reflect on the question of how can you express your feelings in an unconditional way. Wow, how can you express your feelings in an unconditional way? Well, you guys, I have no idea how you can do that. If anybody wants to enlighten me, please comment. But that's amazing, that Ace of Cups for you, Leos. Okay, very beautiful. Now, in position number four, which is talking about how those people that surround you be they one or many, okay, how they see you and how they're feeling about you. And you are getting the temperance, a major arcana. And, wow, I mean, it's just amazing. Your reading layouts is just so beautiful right now. I'm just like a bit overwhelmed with it. 
The temperance card indicates it indicates that there is a need to, uh, to explore the many di dimensions of your inner self. How deep your dimensions go, for example. And you know this explanation, this exploration. Uh, the card is the message here for this card is that this exploration allows you to discover what is truly important to you. Okay, we're up here, crowning your reading. What's really important to you? The focus of this card then is to learn to live. Uh, in moderation and balance and as you find your balance you find the ability to explore and experience that state of harmony that comes from knowing the multiplicity that exists inside of you Wow let me read that again because I have it written down as you find your balance you find the ability to explore and experience that state of harmony that comes from knowing the multiplicity that it exists inside of you and that this discovery gives you the opportunity to develop any aspects of you that you wish wow that's really powerful Leo's you guys have such a powerful reading this month um, at this time the call, you know the message here is that at this time right now you need to avoid extremes at every level allow yourself the time to maintain your center doing what is necessary and at the same time you need to resist the temptation to act in a hasty and reckless manner alright remember to stay calm cool and collected important changes are taking place within you so give them time to make themselves felt in you. So the Temperance card reminds you that an alchemical process is taking place deep within you, Leos, which will give rise to new realizations and creative energies. So what does this alchemical, alchemical process mean? You know, I asked myself, well, maybe I should um, kind of briefly try to explain that and so I looked up I looked it up online and this is what I found I, I think I did this on Wikipedia and basically you know I just took a few things out of there because it, was, it said a lot of stuff but you know I try to summarize some of it okay so it, it basically says that alchemy traces its roots back to the Egyptian civilization where it emerged as a practicing art and science and an, ex and, and an expression of the Egyptian religion. Thus it was that the Egyptian Thoth, the god of mathematics and science, who became the inspirational source for the Hellenistic figure of Hermes Trismegistus. Okay. Now, the Greeks uh, learned their alchemy in the 4th century BC. Um, Several Greek philosophers, scientists, and mystics became initiates of the ancient Egyptian mysteries of their time. Now, the alchemists of the Middle Ages learned their art from the Arabs in Spain and southern Italy, who in turn had adapted it, adopted it from the Greeks. So by the 12th and 13th centuries, alchemy had already appeared in Western Europe via Sicily and Spain. And typical places at that time to study alchemy uh, were at the universities of Palermo, Toledo, Barcelona, and Segovia, which I found that really interesting too. Um, yeah so we're still you know talking about alchemical processes right and I'm just doing a, a brief historical rundown on it on it but then finally alchemy speaks of the belief that that lead 
is transmuted into gold, all right? However, the transmutation of non-precious metals into gold is simply a metaphor of the soul being freed from a, day, a dead, laden state of mind, wow, to that of realizing its own nature of pure light derived from pure spirit. All right, where was I? We're with the temperance card here, okay? Because um, the message said, the temperance card reminds you that an alchemical process is taking place deep within you, which will give rise to new realizations and creative energies. Right? And basically, the transformation of metals into gold is only a metaphor of the soul being freed from a dead, laden state of mind to that of realizing its own nature of pure light derived from pure spirit. Okay, guys, that is like very intense, very beautiful. I mean, I never get the temperance. <laughs> That's a nice card to get. It's really cool, and it is at the head of your reading, position number four. Now, the reflection for this card is, in what area of your life is there a need for balance and moderation at this time, Leos? Okay. Because she, that's what we're talking about, balance and moderation here. Wow. And finally, Leos, in position number five, you guys, which is, this is how you see those that are around you right this point, important people around you right now. How you see them, how you feel about them. And you, you're getting the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about growth and abundance. There's some awesome energy going on in your reading right now. You know, the Nine of Pentacles announces the time for tending the gifts that life has given you, Leos. It reminds us to give thanks for what we have. In most cultures, people give thanks to God or to the universe before and after receiving the gifts from the earth. Giving thanks brings new hope in the future. And that's the message with that card. This card also brings genuine feelings of connection, specifically connecting with Mother Earth and nature. Since she so gener generously nourishes us. That's right. Now, the Nine of Pentacles also signifies fertility. Though it can be fertility of the mind, as in the form of ideas and plans. But it can also be fertility of the body, as in a pregnancy, for example. So this card encourages you to look at what is good in your life. To see the potential that is there, wow, and to tend and nurture the blossoming process that is already taking place within you right now, Leos. Amazing, amazing message. And the reflection for your last card of this reading it's asking you, how can you nurture yourself more lovingly? How can you nurture yourself more lovingly, Leos? Okay, so there you go. There's your reading for the month of May 2017. And I have to say, you've got some beautiful cards here. Thank you so much for visiting my channel, Lucy de Antigua Tarot. And um, I wish you a beautiful month of May. And, yeah, take good care of yourselves, and I will see you guys in June, okay? Bye-bye.